Welcome back to the channel. Hey, thank you for tuning in to another amazing video. So today uh, I have a new word of the week for week number four, which is force. Now that word force, hmm. where have you heard it before? Maybe in a movie? The actual meaning of force in fitness is the maximum amount of energy a muscle can create. So when you guys are working hard, you guys are running, you guys are exercising, the force that you put into it, the amount of power and strength and energy you put into something that your muscle can do is what force is. So hope you guys enjoy that. Stay tuned for our activity and our workout. Talk to you soon. Take care. All right, ladies and gents, we have workout number six, which is high knees. Again, get your feet shoulder width apart. Get those knees up in the air. If you want to tap them, that's great. If you want to put your hands up and give it a target, you can do that as well. That's number one. Number two, crunches. We're going to go in and go down on our bottoms. Our knees are elevated. About feet shoulder width apart. I want you to put your hands behind your neck. One thing I don't want you to do is put your hand on your neck like this. This is not a crunch. Make sure your hands are on the side of your ears. We're going to go down, up, down, up. That's crunches. Frog jumps. We're going to go a little bit wider than our shoulders and our hips. We're going to go down and all fours and pop up like a frog. Frog jumps. Then we got twisted lunges. So you are going to lunge forward and then twist and then switch. Okay, I want your knee to almost hit the floor, but not quite. I don't want you guys banging your knee on the floor. You're going to hurt yourself. Next one, we have kneelers. So you're going to want to be on a soft carpet or if you have a mat of some sort, you're going to go into a reverse lunge. You're going to go backwards with your right leg, left leg, right foot kicks back up, left leg kicks back up. You're going to do that back and forth. Those are called kneelers. That's going to focus on your glutes. And last but not least, as I mentioned to you guys, our high knees. Okay, stay tuned. Get your water ready. Get your towel ready because this is going to be an intense workout. We'll see. Get ready to go in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, high knees. Get them up. Remember, 30 seconds. Everything you got for 30 seconds for each exercise. Move on to the next one. Let's go. Crunches. Make sure your head touches the floor. If you need to go slower, go slower. Working on that core today. Moving on, number three, number three. We got frog jumps. Squat down, get low, hop up. Let's go, keep going. Drop that bottom. Even if you don't go high off the ground. You can modify it, you can go on your toes. Go on your toes, as high as you can. Frog jumps. Drop that bottom. Next one, let's go. Twisted lunges. Oh, it's burning. I feel it. We all get tired. Just gotta keep going. Keep pushing. So you twist that body. All right, we got kneelers. Drop that knee down. If you want to try your right or left, it's up to you. Here we reverse it. If you feel comfortable doing your left, right. It's up to you. It's up to you. Your legs feel on fire like mine. Keep going. We are almost there. All right, high knees, let's go. Last one. If you're sweaty, you're doing your work.
the channel. Hey, thank you for tuning in to another amazing video. So today we're going to do a very fun game that's called the Water Bottle Challenge. A lot of you guys have heard of it. A lot of you guys are doing it. So you guys have seen it. So now Mr. Garcia is bringing it to you. Uh, the Water Bottle Challenge that we're going to be doing today requires just a water bottle. Make sure you have a cap. Super tight, secure, snug, all that good stuff. And the water level up to here. Okay. You guys can see it. Not very much water. Okay. Just a little bit of water so it gives you that opportunity to flip. So what's going to happen is we will have you guys uh, participate in just a moment. All right, so with your water bottle, what you're going to do is you, before you guys can even flip it, okay, you have to do, you guys are going to do three squats. Yes, you heard me right, three squats. Once again, feet shoulder width apart. We're going to drop down our bottom as if we're sitting in the chair. We're going to come up, we're going to go one, we're going to go two, and three. After we do our three squats, we're going to go ahead and flip it, our bottle two times. If it lands perfectly fine, we get a point. If it does not land like it did to mine, then I get no points and I gotta do three more squats to get to do my next two turns, okay? So again, in order to start, you must do three squats, then you get to flip two times, three squats, flip two times. At the end of this, we'll do this uh, challenge, a one minute challenge to see how many times you can successfully flip it and land it, and then I wanna see if you guys can beat my score, so stay tuned. All right, let's get ready to take the challenge. One minute's on the clock. I'm gonna see how many times I can get my bottle to flip and land, and I want you to see if you can beat my score. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. I'm gonna do my three squats. One, two, three, and then flip two times. Miss that one. Miss that one. Three more. One, two, three. Up, flip again. I don't have the technique for this, I'm an old man. Ah! One, two, three. Two flips. Almost had it. Almost had it. One, two, three. My score is still zero. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. One, two, three. One. So, my score was only two points. I hope you guys joined the challenge. Let me know how, much, how many times you guys landed it. Hopefully, you're better than me. Continue working hard. Hope you guys enjoyed the challenge. We'll see you soon.